All right, folks, you were looking at rough plumbing for a toilet and the vent. All right, let's talk about code before we get started. You've got to check with your own local code. There's IPC, UPC, there's local city ordinance and code. You've got to check all that. Now, this setup is to code anywhere for anywhere so remember that what i've got here is for quote code anywhere and uh, as far as piping goes you can use a three inch for a toilet and you can use a two inch uh, for a vent this is a vent you can use two inch for a vent uh, you can and in, 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 in most areas you can use an inch and a half or you can use a three inch of course but we're going with a two inch it's an absolute for sure thing. All right, let's go over. Remember, check your local codes. Now, water and poop flows downhill this way. Remember that as we talk. All right, folks, so let's go over our fittings, parts, and pipes here. All right, so this is a toilet flange. This is a 4-inch Schedule 40 PVC toilet flange. This fits over a Schedule 40 PVC 4-inch pipe. If it's over the pipe, this is a 4-inch pipe here. Toilet flange here, 4-inch pipe here. This 4-inch pipe fits into this water closet. This is a 4x3 fitting. This is a 4x3 water closet. And that 4-inch pipe fits in the four inch side of the water closet four inch side right here three inch side is here fits over a three inch pipe so a three inch pipe fits into the three inch side of the water closet i know let me let me stop here this is code believe it or not this is the only area the only place in your house where you're going to be able to Reduce down in the drain system and the drain system the only place where you can reduce down is right here with this water closet strange I know don't try it anywhere else in the house <laughs> it ain't gonna work out for you three inch pipe into the three inch side of the water closet poop flowing downhill goes to the vent system right here is our vent system this is a three by three by two inch Y. Let's do it again. A three by three by two inch Y. This is the two inch part of the Y. This is a street 45. This is a two inch street 45. So you've got your Y here. See this angle? Well, the 45 set you back vertically straight up and down. That's why you have this here. And the street 45 is called a street because this end, this side, this end of the fitting, you have this end and you have this end. Well, this end fits into another fitting. This is a fitting that fits into a fitting. Get it? So this side of this 2-inch Street 45 is the same size as a 2-inch pipe. Now this is a 2-inch pipe. This is our vent. All of this is our vent. This is inside the wall. You have to picture a wall here. This vent will go through the bottom plate of the wall, through both top plates of the wall, through the roof or it will tie in in the attic to a bigger probably a three inch main vent pipe but a lot of times these toilet vents are right by themselves, especially if they're on the other side of the house or they'll tie into another one inside the attic but a lot of times if you see a two incher poking out the roof it's just running one thing Anyway, so, all right, folks, so that is basically it. Now, remember, poop and all, toilet paper and water's flowing down this way, and the vent is there just 
for a vent, for gases, for air, and that sort of thing. Remember, I already said it, check your codes, that's your responsibility. Check code for all of this stuff. What we have set up here is to code. It is it is to code anywhere in the United States. This set up here. I don't I don't see why anybody would have a problem with this. All right. So your floor. This gray pipe is your floor. Yeah. So the flange. Huh? Rest the bottom of the flange right here. Rest on top of the floor. See that? And you have a wall here. Bottom of the flange rests on top of the floor. And it gets screwed down to the floor. And then the toilet sits on top of the flange and gets bolted to the flange. Yeah. And so when you flush the toilet, it all comes down this way. Now let me show you. It might look confusing. Let me show you how you're going to sit on the toilet here. You'll sit on it this way. facing this way. So you will be facing this way. Your back will be up against this wall. This is your toilet tank here, right here, and your back will be roughly about right in here somewhere. Uh, and your butt will be here, and your face will be looking out that way. So when you flush the toilet, if you think about it at all, you probably think that the poop is going to flow that way. But it's not. Not in this setup. It will flow behind you and go behind you. Anyway, what else can we say about all of this? Check your own code. This is to code. If you stick with what I have here, you're going to be good. That's for sure. Uh, let me get up here. Man, that was quick. That was quick, quick, quick. All right, we got all this explained. Let, let me hop up here and show you what this thing looks like. All right, so we've got the house all framed, huh? And what you're going to have is studs here, right here. This is in a wall. This is vents in a wall. And you pitch your studs on both sides of it or whatever, every 16 inches. What the plumber is going to do is measure from the stud, from the stud, out onto the OSB 12 and a half inches, and that's going to put them right here, right in the center, center of the flange. And so he will, he will drill a hole right here with a big hole saw that will make a hole that this, that, where are we at, that this, will slide right in. It'll slide in tight. Huh? And so, which will cause the flange to sit right on the floor like so. This is my hands of the floor. Got it? Yeah. And so, code is 12 inches from the finished wall. So, you got your stud, then you got a half inch drywall. So, 12 inches from the finished wall, which will be the drywall, or shiplap or whatever, boom, to the center hole of the flange, 12 inches. Believe it or not, these, these water closets, these four by threes, they do awesome with the toilets, awesome with the toilets. Street 45, Street 45, Huh? To put you back straight. Now you can get a three by three by two long sweep. It's already like this. It's all made like this. This is separate from this. We glued it together, but we can get, you notice this one's cracked. This is just for, if yours gets cracked, you get rid of it, redo it. This is just for uh, demonstration purposes. But, uh, you can get that long sweep. It's all one piece. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
So that is, that is basically it, folks. Anyway, so rough plumbing. We'll see a rough plumbing for your toilet. And I mainly did this for the vent system. And so there are codes out there that will let you put that vent anywhere you want it, basically. It can be far away from the toilet. But there's some areas in the country that will make you keep this vent within six feet of the toilet. So there are some, I'm repeating myself so you can get it, there are some areas of the country. Let's back up. Let's back up. We're going to do this right. All right, so let's go back to work. All right, so there are some places, there are some areas in the country, some cities, that's going to make you keep the vent within six feet of the toilet. And what they mean by that is they'll measure from the flange, keeping it center. All right. They'll measure it like that. So let's measure ours. Let's start here. Let's keep it in the center. And let's go down. Let's say this is a foot. This is two feet. And this is six inches. I want to do it to here just to make sure. One foot. Two foot. Two and a half feet. I. Right. So we're two and a half feet, so we're very safe, very safe. Now remember, your vent has to be in a wall. We're very safe here. Don't, if you're not for sure, or if you know that it's supposed to be within six feet, then you better, you measure from here to here, you better keep it under six feet. Don't put it way down the line at eight feet. They're not going to go for that. All right? <laughs> So code is code, folks. You got to stick with it. You got to, whatever code is, that's where you got to have it. So here we're safe. That's why earlier I said this setup here is going to be safe anywhere in the United States, and it will be. This will be good anywhere in the United States. And so your your toilet tank is always up against a wall. So why not put that vent in that wall? Why not do that and be safe if you can? Uh, if you can do that. Anyway, folks, that is it. Rough in, toilet, stick to code, find out your code. We'll see you.